In my opinion, the foyer or the entryway to your home is probably one of the most important rooms uh, when decorating. A lot of times it does get overlooked. Uh, and I feel it's important because it's the first room people see as soon as they come into your home. And I think it gives an introduction to your style when they come in. So I think it should uh, be really focused on. Uh, so here in my foyer, you can see I've got the front door here. Uh, and I've pulled away all the furniture in here to go through a few scenarios. Now the nice thing with this foyer is that because I have a huge built-in closet, all the clothes and shoes and whatnot can be tucked away so that I can really focus on just the decor. So let's get started. So for this foyer setup, uh, I was really channeling the art collector or say an art dealer. Uh, in this case here, I think it's a good introduction to a home that's probably very minimal and uh, probably very, very contemporary. So in this setup here, I anchored everything with this incredibly dynamic cobalt blue cowhide, which is so beautiful and it really pulls out the blues in one of my studio pieces here uh, with the skull. Again, very, very dynamic. Uh, in this case here, it's just very uh, few artfully placed objects. The Barcelona chair, which is basically art in itself, just stands on, on its own. And if you do have the space, I think it's very interesting to place even a floor lamp. Like this one here, the tripod, uh, again, it's just so minimal, but it really has sort of a really unique shape. Again, just the simple jug placed on a pedestal, it feels like art. And again, very, very few things. Also, which is very important to a foyer, is a mirror. Uh, again, so your guests can sort of check themselves uh, as they come and go. Uh, but this mirror I like in particular because it's so narrow and it almost has a really unique tension on this wall, which is really, really cool. Again, in here, because it is about minimal, we need big impacts. And one of my paintings here I have, again, just the pop art colors are really huge. And because it's such a large piece of such a tiny wall, it has this really, really cool tension. But again, because it's so big, and the subject matter is uh, very easy. Um, it just sort of like can melt away by, by itself. Again, so for this uh, area here, it's minimal, it's less is more, but still very, very impactful. 